Hello ladies and gentlemen, Safehouse here and today I'll be talking about some of the add-ons I used in ESO. I will put links to all of them in the description so that you can go find them and see whether you want to use them. I'll just explain them and yeah, there's some that really do give a great benefit to you in the game. So to begin with, you go with the multi-quest tracker, which I don't actually have on at the moment, but it is a great tool. It allows you to have more than one quest. So you can see on the screen at the moment, I only have one quest displaying. The multi-quest tracker allows you to have as many as you want. You can tick and untick the boxes, but at the moment, every time you change instance or go into a different zone, it resets those and it just clogs up your screen. So I have it turned off at the moment, but hopefully they'll fix that before the game does go live. It's good, so you can actually see all the quests in the same area rather than just looking at one. Next we have Dragon Loot which displays the uh, items that you loot in a little window. You can move it around and customize it have wherever you want. I have it just above my combat log there. It also shows you the items that your party loots as well not just yourself because if you're like me and you've got auto loot on it makes it a lot easier to pick up all the items around you but you really have no idea what you're getting, what gold you're getting or anything so it's really handy just to see. I know some people like to have a surprise sort of waiting for them in their inventory when they uh, check all their items but but I actually find this one really useful as well. You can hover over the items to see how good they are and all that as well. So definitely recommend Dragon Loot. It is a great add-on. Next we have the FTC Combat Log. This is probably my favourite add-on that I have. Just because you don't have those numbers ticking over above your enemies or any other way really to tell how much damage you're doing or who you're doing damage to, like the heals going on, like anything like that really. So it gives you info on what's actually going on in the combat. Um, it also comes with a DPS meter, your percentage heals, percentage damage and all that. It's actually really good. So I know some people don't like DPS meters and some people like to keep the Elder Scrolls sort of feel and not have those damage numbers but I'm a bit more of an MMO player myself and I do enjoy actually knowing how much DPS I'm doing and how hard I'm hitting and what abilities are doing that more damage. And finally we have the Unity Group Frame which converts just the health bars of your teammates to a health bar, a magic bar and a stamina bar as along with buffs so that's the big thing. There's no buff icons or debuff icons for you or your party members in the normal frame. But with this, you get to see all the buffs, debuffs, and you can kind of see what's going on a bit more on the party. You can also see who's got stamina and who's got magicka, which is not available in the, um, the the normal version. So this, yeah, it really just helps to get an overall better feel for your party and a bit more situational awareness on what's going on. Especially when I'm tanking, I don't want to initiate if someone's out of magicka or stamina. It really helps. I know the frame probably doesn't look as good as the original, but it really does make a big difference when you're in those grading groups. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out. Uh, if you find any more add-ons that you really like, don't hesitate to hit me up and let me know. I know there's a couple out there that sort of encompass most of these things, but I kind of didn't want one thing managing everything, so I've done it like this, and it's been working out for me so far. But I hope you enjoy the video, and good luck in Elder Scrolls Online. It is not too far away now. Thank you very much for watching, if this video helped you out or you just enjoyed it, please smack that like button, or you can also subscribe to my channel for more videos similar to this one. Thanks guys.